What's up, Warriors? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Warrior TV. Seniors, if you were lucky enough to earn a scholarship and are interested in participating in the scholarship assembly in May, go to the counseling office to let them know as soon as possible. Also, prom is coming up fast, so make sure you get your tickets. They are sizzling 20 doubloons each, so get in and buy them soon. Anyone interested in going to an Ivy League school? A representative from Yale University will be here on Tuesday, March 14th to give a sick presentation. It'll be held in the library during Flex that day. Is Snow College an Ivy League school? <laughs> it might be. I heard their basketball team is looking to make a serious run in the March Madness tournament. Mm. Let's see what other teams you guys think are going to dominate the month of March this year. Do you think the Utah Jazz can make it to March Madness? No. Okay, we'll see. The Utah Jazz is not part of the March Madness tournament. Do you think we could have a possible Utah-BYU matchup in the finals for March Madness this year? I don't know, maybe. They're, they're not looking too bad, but they could pull up through, I think. All right, all right, sounds good. Okay, what do you think the chances the Pittsburgh Penguins um, win the March Madness this year? Yes. What? Okay, LeBron James is 38 this year. Do you think he'll be able to lead the Lakers to one more March Madness title? No. Why not? Because he's old. That's a fair answer. Thank you. Do you think Orion Junior High has a good chance of winning a March Madness tournament this year? No. Why not? I went there and they only won once in the three years I went there. And their, and their team sucks. So, How do you feel about Weaver High's odds in the March Madness tournament this year? In the March Madness tournament? Yeah. Uh, I feel like they are good. Yeah, they're good. Okay, thank you. Do you think Argentina has a chance to win March Madness fresh off a World Cup win? Yes. All right, good. Do you think the Kansas City Chiefs are going to make the March Madness tournament? No. Why not? I actually don't know who you're talking about. Man, you know I love sports. Yes, they are quite exquisite. And we have a ton of spring sports starting up right now. Let's get an update from our sports guys on our school sports. Welcome back to another sports update. Boys of Lacrosse have a couple of games up in Logan this weekend and also have games next Tuesday and Thursday. Good luck to boys soccer who have three upcoming games next week. Boys baseball also has three games this week. Softball has two games uh, next week on Wednesday and Friday. Boys tennis also play three games next week. Girls lacrosse has games on Tuesday and Thursday. Track has a meet at Syracuse on Wednesday. Girls golf have a meet on Thursday against Fremont. <laughs> Weaver High has its own March Madness group. It is through ESPN's website and the group name is Weaver High School 2023. To join, just click the link down in the description. That's it for sports. See you next time. Students, big reminder for those wanting to run for student office, there's an election meeting on Monday, March 13th. It'll be held in the library after school at 2.35. This meeting is mandatory for eligibility to run for office, so if you miss it, you're out. Dude, we have all been counting down the days until the first showing of the school play, Les Mis. I can't wait! Me too. Devin will fill you in on all the details coming up right now. Weaver High's production of Les Mis is coming up. It'll be opening March 15th, so I'm here with the cast members Zach and Devin to talk about their characters. I'm Javert, the main villain of the story. And I'm Fontaine. I'm the single mother that fights for herself and her daughter. Sounds pretty good. Do you have any more info for us? Yes! Hit it! Les Mis opens March 15th, and there are nine shows in all. There are two casts, so if you know anybody in the show that you want to see, Check with them just in case they're in a specific cast. Cosette, Eponine, Fontaine, and Madame Tenardi are double cast. Come see both shows. They're all amazing and awesome and beautiful and talented. Go see both. Les Mis is a complex show, so we asked some of our castmates to describe the show in one word. How would you describe Les Mis in one word? Uh, war. Inspiring. Intriguing. Devastating. Melancholy. Devon. Follow Weber High Theater Department Instagram for updates and cool ticket giveaways. Use code Devon and Zach for one dollar off. That's it for this week's episode. See you next week, Warriors.